In December 2014, in the southern expanses of the Pacific Ocean, an undersea volcano erupted. This eruption was intense and blasted lava into the water, which immediately became boiling hot. Steam and ash billowed outward, and the rapidly cooling and solidifying lava turned into volcanic rock, which was also thrown outwards into the ocean. The whole of the ocean floor around and below the volcano seemed to lift, swollen with magma that was now bursting out through this pore in the crust. Over the course of a month, this growing, rising volcano broke through the surface of the water and gave birth to a new island. Now, most of these new volcano-formed islands will be quickly eroded and consumed by the sea. The landmass will disappear almost as fast as it formed, and life will have barely, if any, chance to colonize it. However, this most recent island is a little more persistent. These fresh volcano islands are actually pretty common across the planet, but most of them disappear pretty quick. In the last 150 years, there have only been three newly formed islands that have persisted more than five or six months. This new island is one of them. However, this does not mean that this island will persist forever. The newly formed island sits between two larger islands in the oceanic country of Tonga. Temporarily named after the proximal islands, this new one is called the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai. Its formation and its structure is similar to an Icelandic island called Sertsi that formed in the 1960s, and Sertsi still exists today, which would suggest that Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai could exist for, theoretically, 50 or 60 years, if not longer. Only a small handful of scientists have had the chance to visit the young island. Among them include the volcanologist Jess Phoenix and NASA researcher Dan Slayback. When interviewed, Miss Phoenix pointed out the similarities to the Icelandic island, and she said, quote, In this case, the ash seemed to have a chemical reaction with the seawater that allowed it to solidify more than it usually would, unquote. Mr. Slayback noticed that the island's lower regions were covered in layers of sticky, muddy, beige clay. He wasn't sure what it was or where it came from, but what was undeniable was that it was fertile for life. Vegetation had spread across the clay, including bushy plants with yellow and pink flowers. Various species of birds waddled among the plants, pecking at any seeds that happened to have been dropped on the ground. Miss Phoenix said, quote, It's not at all surprising that there's vegetation growing, actually. It's likely that it was transported by animals, most likely through bird droppings, and volcanic land is pretty fertile, unquote. She clarified that these animals would have come from nearby islands, which are just a brief flight away across a short stretch of ocean. But Miss Phoenix also expressed concern when she noted that the island was eroding faster than expected. She said, quote, We've really got a limited time with Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai. It seems rain is having an impact on erosion, so if there's continued heavy rain, there's a real chance it might only be there for a decade or so. But... It's hard to say. If we're lucky, it might be there for longer. We've only had one chance to see an island like this since we've had modern satellite imagery. It's a fascinating volcano." Unquote. So I thought this was pretty cool, and the reason that I wanted to bring it to your attention was that life has recently colonized this new island. Within weeks of it emerging from the ocean, life has flocked to it and colonized it, and we're seeing the very beginning of an island ecology. It's really exciting, and these potentially long-lasting islands that have just recently formed, you know, they're fresh out of the womb of the ocean, these islands give us a perfect opportunity to see how the ecological complexity of an island environment develops over time, how it grows and matures, and what happens to it as it undergoes these cycles of succession to become a mature forest that can sustain a wide variety of tropical plants and animals.